the magic in the garden kind of comes from the kids' imaginations, if you see what I mean. And I think the garden also is kind of a metaphor for all the characters really like growing emotionally, you know, as they grow, the garden grows, if you see what I mean. It is so good to meet you, even though it's virtual. Congratulations. <laughs> this is a beautiful, fun film. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's really nice. Now, I, will, I will say this. It's an adventure for us to watch. So I'm sure that it was an adventure for you to film. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. It was really fun filming. I mean, we filmed in a whole bunch of gardens, like up and down the UK. Um, and I mean, the weather was amazing. And yeah, they were all really pretty and beautiful. And it was, yeah, it was amazing to film. I was going to ask about the sets because the house is impressive. The garden is beautiful. I would love to actually have a garden like that myself, but I can't even grow little small plants. <laughs> yeah, no, no. The sets were really, really cool. I mean, like, you know, the interior of the house was all in a studio, but the rest of it was all outside in real gardens, which is really nice. What do you like most about your character, Mary? Um, I think I just, I really like the fact that she's really complex, you know? She goes on quite the emotional journey, I guess. Um, you know, she starts out really unlikable, really not fun at all. And I think she just grows into a lot. She just develops into a better person, if you see what I mean. You know, she yes. grows as a person emotionally. I think. What is the magic of the garden? I've read that you, uh, in some interviews, you said how this is a film about nature, that kids and people in general should get off their phones, explore nature. Is, is that one of the magic elements of the garden to you? Yeah, absolutely. I think also the magic in the garden in the film itself kind of comes from the kids' imaginations, if you see what I mean. And I think the garden also is kind of a metaphor as for... All, all the characters really like growing emotionally, you know, as they grow, the garden grows, if you see what I mean. Are you a gardener yourself? <laughs> I'm not, but I am lucky enough to have two parents who know a lot about gardening. You know, my mom's a florist and my dad designs gardens, so kind of a coincidence. So you and I are on the same level as far as growing things. I, think I so. try. I, I yeah. try. I, I, I don't know. Um, to, uh, this is an incredible cast, and I've interviewed Colin Firth a couple of times. He's such a great person. What was it like to star opposite Colin Firth? It was really, really cool. I mean, it was just, you know, it was so much fun. He's a genuinely really nice guy, as I'm sure you know. He's lovely and also really interesting. Um, and yeah, it was just amazing to even to like watch them, even when they're acting, just really inspirational and really, really quite the privilege i guess to um yeah be in a film with him i'm a big dog person so i have to ask it about a, another uh co-star of yours fozzy i had to research because i was trying to get <laughs> fozzy uh who plays jemima your dog mm -hmm. tell me what it's like to work with fozzy i mean fozzy really is quite the professional you know very good at what he does um but yeah oh it was amazing it was just so nice to have a dog you know because I, I i do love a dog um, it was lovely to, yeah, he was just really cool, very clever, very clever dog, very well trained. But yes, very good experience. You the fact that the weather was cooperative. A lot of this is filmed outdoors, obviously in the garden. So uh, how did that play into it, the fact that you did get to work outside? Um, I think it just made the whole experience of like acting, I guess, a lot easier because um, the majority, it was almost no CGI. So I think it was really cool that we, got to actually experience all the stuff that you do see in the film, all of the nature and the gardens that you do see. I think that just really helped with the acting part of it, I guess. How familiar uh, were, were you with the book? Now, this is the first time that I've seen this film. I know it's been done before and it was a Broadway musical, but I, I was not familiar. This is my first version of the film. So that's why I really, really liked it. But how familiar were you with the book? Um, yeah, I, I knew the book pretty well, actually. It was, um, I read it when I was about seven and I really liked it, you know, obviously. And I knew the story really well. So it kind of helped a lot. And I, I was really familiar with the story when I first got involved with the movie, if you see what I mean. Well, your uh, amazing studio, STX, sent me the book. I have it with me downstairs. I'm actually gonna read the book because now I'm fascinated by this. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna close with this question. Uh, how special was this role to you? Um, yeah, pretty special, I'd say. It was really cool because um, I've only been doing, well, I, I've been doing it since I was about nine, and I think it was the first 
like proper big, I guess you could say lead role that I got, which was really, really cool. And it's such a nice film as well. So yeah, pretty special to me, I guess.